I've been on every road they built out here. From the desert sands up to the mountain snow. When the road would just go cattle trails and not a tow truck near, still I wasn't afraid to get right out and retire. Why of all the insults they could both? Oh, oh, oh hey, hey, excuse me. It, it's, it's me, Hank. Yeah, yeah, some folks call me Henry, but my friends call me Hank. <laughs> yeah, no, they didn't really retire me. No, sir, they didn't dare. An old prospector named Chuck Walla Charlie came along and bought me right after he'd struck it rich. <laughs> and he got fancied up and uh, we went fishing. No, no, no. <laughs> No, no, not that way. He wasn't fishing. He just got lost and fell in the pool. But that was the day we started our trip, right out of Tucson. Oh, gone old Charlie. Got about as much dignity as a wildcat being baptized. Now I'm a four-cylinder clothesline. <laughs> I think this old coot's been out in the sun too long, tying me up with a rope and halter as though I was a burra. This is the San Javier del Bach Mission, first built about 300 years ago, and the Indians call it the White Dove of the Desert. Now, some hostile Indians burned it down, and the Padres started rebuilding about 1785. It took 13 years to finish it, and without no government loan, neither. The Padres that lived here, like Brother Bonaventure there, were a friendly type of folk. But they still built the walls nine feet thick. Now, where's he going? Talk about a mailman taking a walk on his day off. <laughs> now, while Hoot Gibson's getting his picture took, let's look around some more. These are some of the Indians who live near the mission. She's making corn cakes, same as her ancestor did hundreds of years ago. Father Kino, who helped found some of the first missions, walked along this same route we're going to take from Tucson to Nogales. There's a Nogales, Sonora, in Old Mexico, and a Nogales, Arizona, in the United States, with only a line between them. This is the new library on the Arizona side. Let's cross over to Old Mexico for a foreign visit. Now, we United States citizens don't need no passports or papers or nothing, except money. For a female with a shopping urge, man, this is the place. And here you can try out your high school Spanish. country visit, all right, but we got to move on. 
So it's back home to the States for us. Now, what's the matter? What? Why, you brass-bound bureaucrat? What do you mean I'm no U.S. citizen? I was born in the United States before you were. Now, if you want to question old Charlie's hometown, go ahead. But me? find entertainment right in the city park here in Nogales. This is a Sinaloa band from way south in old Mexico up here to play for the holidays. <laughs> Inspector saying I weren't no U.S. citizen. I finally told Charlie it was okay. I was an antique. Well, now look, I've been around for a while, all right, but I'm no antique yet. Am I? Well, I've been on every road they build out here. From the desert sands up to the mountain snow. When the roads were just old cattle trails and not a tow truck near, still I weren't afraid to get right out and go. Nowadays, these fancy roads are often paved, and cars are built to see how fast they'll go. Their drivers brag about their speed and all the time they've saved, but where they've been, not one will ever know. These speeders miss the scenery, whiz right by the greenery. All they see is that big hill they gotta climb. Calder and hurry with their scurry, scurry, scurry. Sometimes I think my life ain't worth the dime. My transmission's pretty fur from automatic. My headlamps will just barely make a glow. But though my chassis has sciatica, and I steer a bit erratically, just say the word and I'll get on it. Sorry, just feel like dancing with you, so. Probably one of the most written about towns in America. And the most famous place in Tombstone is the OK Corral. It's just down the street here. somebody killing my engine, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Fourteen shots at me and they all went between my spokes. Say, who in that fight? 
course, it was only a gag. The shells was blanks, and the marshals and the bandits were being acted out by the vigilantes and the ghosts for the tourists. I knew it all the time. I guess the real winner was here. Reminds me of the epitaph of one of them hypochondriac fellas. Died 105, and on his grave marker was written, See? I told you I was sick. Birdcage Theater was one of the liveliest places the Old West ever saw. Yes, sir. If you're around at the right time, you too can be part of the past. The future's in these parts, too. Bisbee, Arizona, center of one of the richest copper deposits known. Arizona was second only to Tombstone as a rip-roaring boom town. Less than 25 miles away from Bisbee is the town of Douglas, the fourth largest city in Arizona and still growing fast. Its smelters turned out a powerful lot of copper that's been used for everything millions of miles of electric wire to engine head pen. Speaking of engine heads, uh, this rock formation is called Cochise Head, named after one of the wiliest engines the white man ever had to face. We're in the heart of the Chiricahua Mountains, stronghold of the Apache in the days before my time. Now it's the Chiricahua National Monument, and really something to see. How's that for sculpture? using only the wind, sun, and rain. Now take the camel's head. Some folks tried camels years ago in these parts, but it never caught on too well. Too bad. A camel would have been real handy to have around. You have to water him much. You can go a long time without water. He can... Don't you believe it? I'm thirsty. Who's thirsty? I am, the camel. Thought you didn't need water. You're just like all the rest. How'd you like to sit out here in this desert for thousands of years without a drink? <laughs> you think you've got it tough? I've spent the last 2,000 years holding this ballet pose. You tell me, I'd know that voice anywhere. It's the balancing rock. Well, you just sit there a few thousand years more. I'm going for some good old-fashioned pine-scented air like there is around Safford. But first, I have to stop off in Wilcox. Be seeing you. Gone old Charlie. He still keeps thinking I'm a Jenny. I wish he'd kept to the main road. I, I don't feel too well, and I don't like to get too far from a mechanic when I begin to feel him like... I'm sorry. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I suppose he's looking for a handful of grass to get me started. I could have told him it was empty. Now, wait a minute, I use gas, not that. That's better. Don't get too close to me with that thing. Oh, 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 oh,
think, ain't there some Indian law about giving cactus juice to a poor unsuspecting? Cowboys. Now, girls, there's also a Cracker Jack Rodeo and horse show come Rex Allen days. This is Rex's hometown, and he's one cowboy that made Bronx Boston pay off right handsome. like the high country for a change. This state of Arizona's got everything you want. Desert, mountains, hunting, fishing. Like there, for instance. Ever see a prettier trout stream? Hey, that might be deep, real deep. The old fool's gonna try it. If anyone so much as mentions a flooded carburetor, I'll hit him with my tire iron. Mighty good round here in Arizona. And a bonus to boot. It's so <laughs> That was just a little joke of mine. <laughs> water from that trout stream ends up. Roosevelt Dam, the very first of the great Arizona water projects. In fact, first in the United States. It's on the Salt River and furnishes water for pretty good fishing too, but don't tell old Charlie. He might want to try it again and with me as bait. 
The way that guy is around water, he could get wet in a mirage. And speaking of mirages, some folks think they're seeing one when they get here to Scottsdale. It's probably one of the fanciest old west towns in the country. Okay, Jenny, you wait here, I'm going shopping. Concern it. How many times do I have to tell you my name is Hank? H-E-N-R-Y. Hank. And I'm no... What's the use? Get your shopping done and let's get going. Scottsdale's also the home of lots of artists of all kinds. Mostly folks who make things, like the Flemish stained glass artist. Or Lloyd Kiva's famous handbags for women. Or his special materials for fancy dresses. just plain artists with beards who turn out pictures. They're like this fellow. You know what he's painting? Probably one of them beautiful sunsets or maybe a gorgeous desert vista thing. Looks like he's finished. Let's take a peek. That's a picture. <laughs> I never looked that bad even after the run-in with that Maxwell in the middle of Boggs Flat, Colorado in 1918. And you should have seen the other guy. Just look at that old codger. If that's how the West was won, I'd sure hate to see the loser. Uh oh I know the symptoms. He's coming down with souvenir-itis. <laughs> be this time. Maybe four pounds of assorted door keys or something else practical. Now, what's he got there? I tell you, this Chuckawalla Charlie's off his feed. Come hunting season, I won't dare poke my fender out of the garage. stations. for 50 cents a jug no more. What a dude. Here's just a place for him, the Dude Ranch. <laughs> it's just another one of my little jokes, folks. <laughs> now, if you're the kind of person that likes to rough it, easy like, this is it. There's lots of fine Dude Ranches around Scottsdale. Or, if you like a different setting, you can find it in Wickenburg. Named after Henry Wickenburg, a fellow that missed a mule and found a fortune. The rock he threw at his mule was filled with gold. It, well, naturally, that caused more than a few folks to rush into the area, and pretty soon a town sprung up. Named after the geezer what started it all. 
Then, when the railroad came in, the town really started to grow. Some of the old-timers, like this little red schoolhouse, still don't know they're old, so they just carry on business as usual. Lots of memories left in this town. the jail dream. Story is, the town folk didn't want to spend their money for a jail, so all lawbreakers, uh, the ones that was caught, was chained to the tree. Wickenburg area claims the first dude ranch in the country, and since then they've been springing up everywhere. Here's the life, swimming, horseback riding, chuck wagon lunch. And come evening, sitting around the campfire for a square dance down to the meeting hall. Hey, now, what's old Charlie up to if he thinks I'm gonna miss the hoedown? Okay, Jenny, bedtime. Get on in there. This is the absolute limit. Ah, what's the use? I might as well you believe. this morning. Must have did me good to spend a long night in the hay. Heard old Charlie tell the ranch foreman we're headed for Yuma. Believe it or not, time was when Yuma was a seaport. Not much before my time, neither. Tour and gospel. Boats used to come up the Colorado River all the way from the Gulf of California. It was mighty wild times, too, and the old territorial prison was a busy place. too small for big boats these days, but the waters turned the area around Yuma into a real garden, especially known them. Away from now, you're in the desert for sure. What, what, what's going on? Oh, it's that turn trick me of mine again. Hang on to your hat, Charlie. Again. Come back here, you farmer. Come back here. In the words of my last boss, this guy's flip. Well, I'm born swallowed.
Sorry, old girl. It's the only way to live. Well, I'll be golden. He's trying to shoot me. No, 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 wait a minute. Look, look, I ain't no Jenny. And my leg ain't broken. All I need is a good vet. I, I mean, a mechanic. God darn him, he's got me thinking I am a Jenny. No, 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 no. <laughs> seconds and I'd been on that big speedway in the sky. <laughs> Thank heavens the young boss found me. Said he'd been chasing us for days. He may drive me like a hot rod, but at least he calls me Hank. Set for takeoff, we ought to make it home by dark. Hey, maybe you'll forget that sleeping bag. Yeah, I'll teach him a lesson once and for all.